Tonight, Bepi Colombo. One mission, two spacecraft, and a seven-year plan to learn everything we possibly can about Mercury. Like, how did our solar system form? What's the deal with Mercury's magnetosphere? And why is the first child in the solar system always such an overachiever? I'm Claire Riley. Welcome to Watch This Space. From the CNET studios in Sydney, this is your weekly guide to everything on Earth you need to know about space. And tonight, we're looking at Bepi Colombo, the mission that says, well, if we're going to send a mission to Mercury, it might as well have a flippin' sweet name. Bepi Colombo is a joint European-Japanese mission to investigate the Sun's first and no doubt favourite child, Mercury. Think of it kind of like a spin-off of the original Colombo TV series, but in this case, the detective is a 4,000 kilogram composite spacecraft flying towards Mercury on a mission to solve the ultimate whodunit. Who done formed our solar system and how it done happened. The mission is actually named after Italian mathematician and engineer Giuseppe Beppi Colombo, who first explained Mercury's curious rotation pattern. It spins on its axis three times for every two orbits around the Sun because it is such a show-off. Now, NASA has been to Mercury previously, first in 1974 and then later with the Messenger spacecraft, which entered the planet's orbit in 2011. How did that one end again? It ran out of fuel and crashed down on the planet's surface. Yikes. But we haven't seen much of Mercury since then. It's kind of like our neighbour two doors down. You know, we know it's there, but we like to avoid eye contact, especially when we're taking out our recyclables on bin nine. Bepi Colombo is a joint mission between the European Space Agency and the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA. The ESA has been around since 1975, but JAXA is a relative baby in the space game. It was formed from a group of other agencies in 2003, but it's been busy since then, launching satellites and sending spacecraft like the Hayabusa 2 to land on asteroids, which it's done a cheeky three times now. The ESA and JAXA, no doubt looking across at NASA with its moon landing and its 60th anniversary, thought the Americans can't have all the fun, so they joined forces for Bepi Colombo. And because there's two space agencies involved and no one wanted to fight over the spaceship controllers back here on Earth, the Bepi Colombo mission actually includes two spacecraft, ESA's Mercury Planetary Orbiter, or MPO, and JAXA's Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter, or MMO. Double your fun on the way to the sun. The spacecraft were launched on October 20, 2018, on board the ESA-built Mercury Transfer Module. <sighs> That's a mouthful. But think of it kind of like an RV that the two spacecraft are going to hitch a ride on to get to Mercury. JAXA brought the snacks and ESA brought the music, which is why we can only assume that they're going to be listening to Kraftwerk in the final countdown. ESA has been going through a real glamour rock phase recently. Probably why they want to go to Mercury. <laughs> Together, the two spacecraft will tell us more about Mercury's geology and craters, the extreme conditions it encounters on its elliptical orbit, and the origin of its magnetic field and how it interacts with solar wind. And then, of course, there's the question of whether Mercury has a solid or liquid core, or whether it's filled with some kind of delicious honeycomb. More importantly, like any child that's never moved away from its overbearing parents, the mission will also study how Mercury evolved being so close to its overbearing stage mum of a star, the Sun. Because the sun's overwhelming embrace is so darn hot, Bepi Colombo has state-of-the-art high temperature coatings and insulation. The MPO also has a radiator to help avoid overheating, while the MMO will use a special spinning technique as it travels, helping the spacecraft to stay cool while it's twirling, twirling towards freedom. And ion thrusters will help Bepi Colombo push back against the sun's gravity pull because, Mum, I need some space! But why do we care about Mercury anyway? I mean, it's not like we're going to move there like we are with Mars, right? Come on, ESA and JAXA. Stop trying to make Mercury happen. Well, no, it turns out Mercury is important because it's so darn unusual. It's close to the sun, but one side of the planet is frozen over. Why is it so dense? And based on the images that Messenger took of wrinkles on the planet's surface, why the hell is Mercury shrinking? Experts say Mercury could have originated further out in our solar system and that a collision with the proto-Earth or proto-Venus could be what robbed it of so much of its original rock. So Mercury is a wrinkly, shrinking little planet living too close to its parent and it was robbed of its rock inheritance when its two siblings got into a fight when they were younger? I mean, some may say that I'm pushing this metaphor too hard, but I think we've nailed it. Baby Colombo has a busy few years ahead. It's set to fly by Earth in 2020 before flying by Venus, flying by again, flying by Mercury six times, jeez, get a move on, Beppy, and then finally orbiting Mercury in 2026. 
And after about a year or so in orbit, that's where the BEP rally will end. But not before it's told us a whole bunch more about old shrinky wrinkles. All right, that's it for this week's episode of Watch This Space. We'll be taking a break next week, but we'll be back on November 16. And in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this week's episode, please click like on your remote and subscribe to get more space news as it happens. I'm Claire Riley for CNET. Good night and Godspeed. Bepi Colombo! Um, nougat. <laughs> Final Countdown is a great song. And I don't know what other songs they had, but it's a good song. I say nougat. Who says nougat? That's not a word. I'll just change it to honeycomb. Stupid Americans of pronunciation. Nougat. Which is why we can only assume they'll be listening to Kraftwerk and the Kraftwerk. Kraftwerk. I'm listening to the Kraftwerk.